The Bible is filled with examples of faithful women who stood out for their dedication and commitment to God. These women were not perfect, they went through difficult times, but through faith they found refuge in God, and their stories are a source of inspiration for all of us. We can read about faithful women in the Bible, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament, and in this video we will get to know some of the most remarkable women of faith in the Bible. Eve is hardly remembered when it comes to talking about women of faith in the Bible. In fact, Eve, the first woman created by God, started as an example of how lack of faith can lead to disastrous consequences. She is mentioned in Genesis chapters 2 and 3 as someone who disobeyed God and led her husband to do the same, resulting in the fall of humanity into sin. But when God pronounced the curse because of sin, He also announced the coming of a Redeemer through the woman. And it seems that Eve faithfully believed in that promise because when her male children were born, she saw it as a sign of the Lord's favor. Perhaps Eve expected that through one of her sons, that promise would begin to be fulfilled. And indeed it happened, because Jesus Christ came from the lineage of her son Seth. Sarah, Abraham's wife, is another example of a woman of faith in the Bible. It is true that at times her faith wavered such as when she planned for Abraham to have a child with her servant Hagar, or even when she laughed in disbelief at the announcement that she would bear a child after the age of 90. However, Sarah is mentioned in the Gallery of Heroes of Faith as someone who, by faith, received the virtue of conceiving and giving birth beyond her years, having faith in him who had promised her a child. Sarah's daughter-in-law, Rebecca, was also a woman of faith, she was a young woman chosen by God to be the wife of Isaac, Abraham's son. She demonstrated her faith by agreeing to leave her home and family to marry a man she had never seen before, trusting that this was God's will. Furthermore, when Rebekah had difficulty conceiving, she patiently waited on God for twenty years and was blessed with twins, Jacob and Esau. Rachel and Leah, Rebekah's sisters-in-law, can also be remembered as women of faith. They were far from perfect. Rachel was Jacob's beloved but was barren, while Leah, although less attractive in Jacob's eyes, was blessed by God with many children. Both women faced difficulties and struggles in their marriages, but maintained their faith in God. Rachel, despite her barrenness, continued to pray and believe that God would bless her with a child. And finally, she had Joseph. Leah, on the other hand, continued to place her faith in the Lord despite her husband's disdain, and ended up generating the lineage through which the Messiah came into the world. In fact, in the Bible, Rachel and Leah are mentioned as the matriarchs of Israel. Rahab is another woman we can cite as a great example of faith. She was a Canaanite woman who lived in Jericho. Despite her reputation as a prostitute, Rahab demonstrated great faith by helping the spies sent by Joshua to explore the city. Rahab hid the spies in her house and protected them from the king's guards, in exchange for sparing her and her family during the conquest of Jericho. Rahab, a foreign woman, trusted in God, and through an act of faith took a leap of courage, resulting in the salvation of her own life and that of her family. Rahab is also mentioned in the Gallery of Heroes of Faith, and her story is an example of how God can use unexpected people to fulfill His purposes. Ruth is remembered for her loyalty and love for her mother-in-law Naomi and her trust in God. When she became a widow, she left her homeland and family to accompany Naomi to Bethlehem, where she found a new home and a new husband. Ruth worked hard to support herself and Naomi, and her kindness and humility drew the attention of Boaz, a relative of her deceased husband's family who became her husband. Ruth's story is an example of how faith can lead to unexpected blessings and how kindness and loyalty can be rewarded. Ruth was an ancestor of King David and, consequently, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Deborah was a leader, prophetess, and judge of the people of Israel. She is considered an example of faith because she trusted in God and His wisdom to guide her people through difficult times. Deborah showed courage by accompanying the troops of Israel in battle against the Canaanites, trusting in God's protection and guidance. Additionally, she demonstrated humility and trust in God by singing a song of praise to Him instead of boasting about her own leadership. The story of Deborah reminds us of the importance of trusting in God in all circumstances and seeking His wisdom to guide our actions and decisions. 
We can also talk about Hannah, the mother of Samuel. Hannah fervently prayed for a son for years, even when her rival Penina taunted her for her barrenness. But finally, God granted her heart's desire and she gave birth to Samuel, who became one of the great prophets of Israel. Hannah's prayer is an example for all of us of how we can trust in God and ask Him for what we need. Finally, in the Old Testament, we can also talk about Esther, who was chosen to be the queen of Persia. When the prince Haman planned to destroy all the Jews, she courageously asked the king to intercede on behalf of her people. She knew that approaching the king without an invitation could cost her life, but she trusted in God to protect her and used her position to save her people. Now in the New Testament, we can talk about Mary, the mother of Jesus. Without a doubt, Mary is an example of humility and submission to the will of God. She accepted with faith and courage God's call to be the mother of Jesus and fully trusted in His providence. In her song of praise, she exalted the greatness of God and recognized her own smallness. Mary was also an important figure during Jesus' earthly ministry, supporting and accompanying Him on His journey. Mary Magdalene is another woman of faith we can mention here. Mary Magdalene became known as a loyal disciple of Jesus and was a witness to His resurrection. She demonstrated unwavering faith in Jesus Christ, following Him in His teachings and being faithful to Him until the end. Mary Magdalene was also courageous enough to go to Jesus' tomb even after He was crucified, when many of His disciples apparently were afraid to do so. Thus, Mary Magdalene is an example of faith and dedication to Jesus and of courage in witnessing the truth. Martha and Mary of Bethany, the friends of Jesus, were also women of faith, each in her own way. Mary is especially remembered for her attitude of worship and love for Jesus. She anointed Jesus' feet with pure nard, an act that foreshadowed the preparation of his body for burial. Martha, on the other hand, is remembered for her willingness to serve others and her diligence in taking care of the house and the needs of the guests. But Martha never doubted that Jesus was the Son of God who was to come into the world. We can also mention some less well-known women, such as Joanna and Susanna, who served the Lord Jesus with great loyalty and helped sustain His earthly ministry. Moreover, the Bible speaks of anonymous women, such as the Canaanite woman who went to Jesus asking for help for her daughter. Even though she was initially ignored, she persevered, and Jesus praised her great faith and healed her daughter. Or we can mention the woman who suffered from a flow of blood, who with great faith received a miracle from the Lord. After these women, history also knew Lydia, Lois, Eunice, Priscilla, and so many others, who were extremely important for the spread of the gospel in the early years of the church. All these women are just some examples of how God uses women in His work and honors them for their faithfulness and devotion. Whether in the Old or New Testament, these women of faith are models that encourage us to follow God with all our hearts and to serve Him with dedication and sincerity. Each of these women of faith faced unique challenges and trials, but all of them trusted in God and were rewarded for their faith. These women were living proofs of the mercy and kindness of the Lord. Their examples also serve as reminders that we should value and respect the women in our lives, recognizing their importance and contribution to the history of the Christian faith. And if you liked this video, leave your comment and share this video with a woman of faith you know.